Hello from the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Alexandra Cohen with your news update. Celebration of life services were held today for two college students who were stabbed to death outside a Midtown bar. Clay Bethard and Paul Trapini III were laid to rest in Williamson County. Police say their killer, Michael Mosley, sits behind bars without bond. Metro police officers are investigating a domestic violence related shooting. It happened at the Tony Sudicum apartments around 10 this morning. One man was shot and his condition is unknown. Police are investigating a murder after a body was found by a dumpster. The scene was located right before two this morning at the Shadow Bluff apartments. Police say the 26 year old victim lives on Murfreesboro Pike. He sustained a gunshot wound to his head. Officers found a Trinidad and Tobago ID in his pocket. If you know what happened, call police. Now let's get a check of the weather with Henry Rothenberg. Hey, Alexandra, we are watching for the threat of strong to severe storms Sunday. That's why we have a storm five alert. Our primary threat is going to be uh, some flash flooding followed by some strong winds. Tornado threat very low along with a hail threat, but it is something that we have to watch for all of it. Thanks to this frontal boundary. Some morning showers I think will actually help as far as taking some of the energy out of the atmosphere, but with the steady rain over many of the same areas all day long, that could lead to some of the potential for flash flooding taking us towards the early evening and nighttime hours before we finally get that front and a weak secondary front to kick all this energy out if you're heading into Monday. So rain totals, we're talking about an inch to some spots picking up three inches, especially from about Clarksville to Murray, Kentucky and going along the Tennessee River and uh, areas west of that. For tonight, temperatures are going to be down into the 60s. Tomorrow's Storm 5 alert in the afternoon to midnight 71 the high. Then we're cooler as we say farewell to 2019. Rain chances back on Thursday.